Hi, it's Kathy here, and thanks for joining me again for part four of my planner tutorial. We finished in part three with the outside of the covers and the closure, and now we'll be starting on the inside of the back cover. Now we'll be working on the pocket on the inside of the back cover of the planner. So you'll need to cut a piece of cardstock five and three eighths by eight and one quarter. Then we're going to adhere a magnet on this cardstock piece. And I didn't mention this in the Ladies Diary Planner, but there was a magnet behind the notepad. Um, and the notepad has a magnet on the back just to hold the top part of it flat so it doesn't flop around when you open the planner. So we're going to adhere a magnet about two and a quarter inches down from the top edge. Now we're going to cut a piece of pattern paper. So you're going to cut this five and one eighth and then four inches. And then I'm going to ink the edges of this piece. I'm going to put some ATG on here. I'm going to run a little over the magnet. And we're going to adhere this to the top of the cardstock piece. And it's going to, you need to center it and I'm going to leave that 1 8 inch around the right top and left sides. So now we need to do the pocket portion of it. So you'll need to cut a piece of cardstock 5 inches by 5 and 3 eighths. And I'm going to use an edge die on one of the 5 and 3 eighths inch side. For both planners I used these paper tray ink edgers number one dies. They come in two sizes. For this pocket, I'm going to use the longer one, which is about five and a half inches long. And I'm going to show you how I um, line this up on the center of this. I'm going to move this piece out of the way. On my um, die, I just mark with a pencil on the center of that die. And this, um, this is pretty easy die to figure out where the center is because of the point there. I'm going to turn this cardstock piece over to the back, and I'm going to find the center of the five and three eighths inch side. Mark the center lightly with a pencil. This is on the back side, so it's not going to um, it's not going to be noticeable. And then what I do is line up on the very edge of this die here, the center mark on the cardstock piece with the center mark on the die, and then I tape it in place before I run it through a die cutting machine. So I just tape it down there, and then I'm going to die cut this really quick. So now I have the um, top 5 and 3 inch side die cut. Now I need to cut another piece of pattern paper, and you'll need to cut it 4 and 3 quarters by 5 and 1 eighth. And then I'm going to die cut the top 5 and 1 eighth inch edge, just like I did on the cardstock piece. So I'll show you again how I'm going to line that up. I'm going to turn it over to the back. This is the top. I'm going to find the center of this top edge again and mark it with a pencil. And then I'm going to take this piece off. And then I'm going to line this um, paper up with the center of the die and tape it in place and then die cut it. And this way, you get your cardstock and your paper um, perfectly die cut so that they'll line up when you go to adhere it. So I'm going to run this through the die cutting machine. And here I have the um, die cut paper. So now I'm going to ink the edges of this paper and we're going to adhere it to this cardstock piece. And I'll use a little TG again here. And I'm going to center this paper piece on the cardstock. Now I'm going to sew along this die cut edge, only this edge. And if you're skilled at sewing, this um, shouldn't be any problem. If this is your first time sewing, um, it might be a little difficult. You might need to have a little bit of practice here to go around these curves. and. Um, Sometimes it's just best to go really slow and, and drop um, the needle down 
and up again when you're trying to make these little corners. But this edge isn't too detailed, so I like to use this die a lot. So I'm going to go sew that edge and I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I've sewn along this die cut edge only and I'm going to uh, tape off my thread ends on the back. Now we want to add that strip of paper across this piece. So you'll need to cut a piece of pattern paper and it needs to be one and a quarter inch wide and five and one eighth uh, inch long. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink the edges of this and get some adhesive on all the edges here. And then we're gonna adhere it to this piece inch and a quarter down from the die cut edge. Okay, now we're going to turn this cardstock piece over and we're going to um, apply adhesive just along the, the left, the um, bottom, and the right side. So just not along that die cut edge and only on the edge. So I'm just going to run and I like to use ATG for this because I'm going to be sewing through this. If you want to use score tape, that's fine, but usually ATG will hold it fine. So I've just put the adhesive around the edges. And I'm going to bring this piece back, and we're going to adhere the bottom pocket. I got some adhesive. We're going to adhere the bottom pocket, even with the bottom edge of this bigger cardstock piece. Okay, and when we do that, all of our pattern paper edges stay the same and I'm going to now sew all around the outside of this piece and then you'll have the pocket for the uh, notepad to slide inside. So I'm going to go sew that and I'll be back. Okay, so I finished sewing around the edges and I'm going to tape off my thread ends on this one corner. Now we're going to put score tape on the back of this piece, quarter inch score tape along the outside edges. And a little bit of ATG in the center. Remove our tape liners. And we're going to adhere this to the inside of the back cover of the planner. So I'm going to bring this over and open this up. And we want this centered on the inside cover here. So I'm going to I'm going to watch it from the outside edges, and that'll um, make sure I'm lined up good. So I look pretty much centered and we're going to press that down. We're going to work on the embellishment part here. So I'm going to use this sticker from the collection and I'm going to mat it again on black cardstock. So I'm just going to line it up on, on two edges so I don't have to trim around so many. And just cut a thin border here. Okay, I'm going to put ATG on the back of this and adhere it to the center here. In Ladies Diary, I used a sticker from the collection. Um, on this one, I'm going to just put it slightly off um, from the, you know, not centered on that paper strip, um, but centered side to side. I just want it slightly lower on this one. And then I'm going to use another sticker from the sticker sheet and it's this hip to the jive sticker and I am going to put that right here. Okay, so next you're going to take the magnet and you're going to let it attach to the magnet on the upper portion here and put a piece of score tape on the magnet 
And then I um, go ahead and take the tape liner off. And I have a 4x8 notepad that I'm using. I found this one at Michael's. So I'm going to take the back part of the notepad here and I'm going to slide it into the pocket. And try to get it into the center here. So, And then I'm going to go ahead and press that down so that the magnet attaches to the back of the notepad. And then that's just going to hold, that extra magnet there just holds it um, so it doesn't move around quite as much. And then you can always um, turn this over and take the magnet off and use it again on, a, on another notepad when this one's finished. So now we're going to work on the center part of the spine here with the elastic um, bands. For the center part on the spine, you'll need to cut a piece of cardstock 7 8 by 8 and 1 quarter and then a piece of pattern paper 5 8 by 8 inches. So I'm going to ink the edges of this and put some adhesive on it. And then you'll center this paper piece on the cardstock piece, leaving um, a border there. And then I'm going to go sew around these edges and I'll be back with this. Okay, so I've sewn around all four sides of this piece and I'm going to tape off my uh, thread ends on the back. Now we need to take score tape. We're going to use I'm going to use a half inch wide. You can use a couple pieces of quarter, whatever you've got. And I'm going to come down on the back of this um, about three inches, and I'm going to put a piece of the tape across the cardstock piece. And then I'm going to come down again about another three inches from that and put another piece. And then you're going to remove the tape liners on this. We're going to cut two pieces of elastic lace uh, trim. And I got this at Joann's. It was sold on the um, by the yard. And you, you don't really need, I only bought a quarter yard, you don't need very much. I'm going to put one end on that score tape, wrap it around the cardstock strip, and then bring it to the other end and adhere it to the score tape again. And then I'm going to take scissors and I'm going to cut off the excess here. Okay, and we're going to do it again on the other piece of score tape. So I'm going to just adhere it at about the halfway point of the score tape and I'm going to wrap it. And see how I'm pulling that pretty tight? And then we're going to adhere it again to the rest of the tape and we're going to trim this end. Now I'm going to put score tape over this. And I'm going to run a couple of strips of this score tape. I'll try to flatten um, that elastic trim down. This one's a little bit thicker than the one I used on Lady's Diary. And we're going to remove our tape liners. And now we're going to adhere this piece onto the center. So I want um, the one, the band down closer to the bottom. And I'm just going to center this right on the spine. And we're going to press it down. And we'll just double check and just make sure that that's going to work for us. So, OK. 
pin slides through and then with the addition of this um, second band um, that'll keep the pen from uh, moving around as it was in the first planner. Okay so that's that um, and now we're going to work on the inside of the front cover. The first thing we want to do is cut a piece of seam binding again about eight inches long and I'm going to spray some water on a craft mat again and we're going to wad this up again in the water and let it dry while we're working on these next parts and I'm going to hang this off of the chipboard tag like I did in the ladies diary planner. So I'm going to set this aside. The next thing we want to do is cut a piece of cardstock four and a half by five and three eighths and on the four and a half inch side we're going to use a scoring tool on a scoreboard and we're going to score at one inch. Then we're going to um, use a die and we're going to die cut this edge on the opposite side from the score line. So I'm going to use my longer die in this set, the five and a half inch long die, and I'm going to do just what I did before, find the center of the cardstock piece, line it up against the center of the die, and then um, tape it on there and run it through the machine. And I've already done this, so I have my... Um, die cut edge on this piece and the score line is down here and now we're going to cut a piece of pattern paper and we're going to cut it three and a quarter by five and one eighth and then we're going to use that um, die again on one edge if you have a pattern to the paper this one just polka dot if you have a, a pattern that's you know definitely up and down um, we're going to be die cutting the bottom edge um, of the paper. So we'll just do that again and line it up and die cut. And I've cut this piece already. And I've got that here. So I'm going to move my scoring board out of the way. So I'm going to ink the edges of this piece of paper. And then put some ATG on the back here. And then we're going to adhere the paper in the section above the score line and we're going to center it in this section. So it's got that border around the paper. Now we're going to turn this cardstock piece over and I'm going to get a magnet and some score tape. And we're going to adhere this magnet about two inches down from the score line and centered on the piece. I'm going to run a little adhesive over the magnet and then we're going to cut another piece of pattern paper three and a quarter by five and one eighth. Uh, looks like this. I've already die cut it. We're going to cut um, this flap is going to open up so we need to die cut the top edge and I'm going to ink the edges of this piece and put a little adhesive on the back. And then we're going to adhere it again above the score line and over that magnet and centered in this section here. Okay, now I'm going to sew around these edges and I'm going to show you how I sew when you've got a double-sided flap like this. Okay, so now we're going to sew around the outside edges of this flap. And there's two, of course, the double sides. I always sew on the top side of the flap and I'm going to start near the score line, either corner of the score line, but I'm going to start on this corner here. And I'll show you how I um, sew the die cut edge, and so let me do that really quick. And the bobbin side of the thread is always, you know, it, it's still pretty clean. Mine, mine does a really even stitch, um, but the holes going through the paper are a little bit more obvious on the back side, so I always sew on the top. stop right about here and I'm just gonna lift the foot and then rotate that around. It looks like I've got to fix that. 
fix that thread real quick. There we go. Okay. And I'm just making slight adjustments with the, um, keeping that presser foot on the edge of the paper. I'm going to stop right here, drop the needle down and rotate around. And with a little bit of practice, um, this actually becomes quite, quite easier. And then the last turn. Okay, and now I'm going to show you um, how I fasten these thread ends down so it doesn't unravel. Okay, so I have my double-sided flap that's sewn, and I need to make sure that these threads aren't going to unravel. So I cut a little piece of score tape, and I wrap the threads around um, to the back side of the flap, and I put that tape down on one corner and then trim the thread ends close. And then I've cut this um, little image from the papers and I'm gonna ink the edges really quick and use a glue pen on this. Sometimes I use stickers, sometimes I cut out images and um, sometimes I use little die cuts. And I'm gonna remove that tape liner carefully there so you don't pull the threads again. And then I'm just going to place this at a little bit of an angle on there and glue that down. And that'll help hold those threads. Now we need to cut a piece of cardstock for the, the base of that side of the cover. Five and three eighths by eight and a quarter. And we are going to attach our flap to the top of this cardstock piece. So the first thing you'll need to do is fold the flap on the score line, fold it to the back side. Okay, and get a nice uh, fold on that. Now I'm going to take an ATG gun and I'm going to run two strips of adhesive on this flap. If you're not sewing, you're going to want to add maybe a little bit more. And then on this um, five and three eighths inch side at top, I'm going to take the um, flap and I'm going to line up, let me move this up a little bit, line up the score line, the fold there, with the top of the cardstock piece and side to side. So now we have our flap on. So what we're going to do next is open this flap up and we're going to let a magnet attach to the magnet that's on that flap. And we're going to put, you can probably hear how strong my magnets are. Um, we're going to put a piece of score tape, if I can get it. Put a piece of score tape on that magnet. And take the tape liner off. And then we're going to close this flap down so we can get that magnet on this piece here. And you'll just press the flap so that um, it's adhered on the cardstock piece below. Um, now we're going to do the small flap on the side with a sticker from the collection as I did in the Ladies Diary. So you'll need to cut a piece of cardstock one and one eighth by three and one eighth. I'm going to move this aside for a second here. And we're going to score this piece on the three and one eighth inch side at one inch. I'm going to take a sticker from the collection, and this one also had the little ticket stickers. So I am going to oops, line this up so that there's a little border, um, top and bottom, side to side. We're going to turn it over, 
and we're going to adhere a magnet. And I'm going to cut a piece of score tape here. And get this magnet on. You can just put it, um, it can be center. Um, I have it a little over an inch away from the score line. And then we're going to adhere the second sticker to this. And you'll want to make sure that your score line is on the right side so when you open it, your sticker is facing the right way. And we're just going to center this again over the magnet. Now what I'm going to do is fold this cardstock piece um, on the score line there. And I'm just going to take my scissors because I want this to um, have a, a border all around the, the ticket sticker. And I'm this... this um, Folded portion here is folded over, and I'm going to cut through both layers just around the uh, edge of that right there. And then this side here. Now we're going to turn this over, and we're going to put adhesive on this side of the flap. So we'll do it like this. Sticker on the right and your score line on the left. We're going to put a little adhesive on this section. I'm going to bring this piece back over and we're going to fold that um, section under again. We're going to adhere this about an inch down from the score line of the flap. Let me move this up for you. About an inch down and we're going to line it up with the left edge of the cardstock. Okay, then we're going to open this up and we're going to attach a magnet on the flap. And we're going to put a piece of score tape on that magnet, remove the tape liner, and then we're just going to close this flap to get that other magnet on the cardstock piece. And then just gently lift up. Okay, we can go ahead and put, I'm going to run some adhesive over those magnets. We're going to work on the bottom first. So we need to cut a piece of pattern paper, four and a half by five and one eighth, and I'm going to ink the edges. I'll put some adhesive here on the back. And I'm going to go up close to the edge on this one because I'm piecing a few different papers on here. And then we're going to adhere this to the bottom of the cardstock piece and leaving a little border of cardstock here on the bottom right and left. Press that down. Now we're going to cut the top piece of pattern paper and this one is three and three quarters by five and one eighth. And I'm going to ink the edges and put a little adhesive on this. Go along the edge on this because we're going to slightly overlap this bottom piece here. So we're going to line it up about an eighth of an inch below the score line. And I want to. It's overlapping the bottom piece, so I want to line it up with the um, edges of this bottom piece of paper. 